Disney Pixar Cars, Haunted Hotel. Lightning and Mater were having a good time on their road trip when Mater announced that a storm was on its way. He wanted to stop at the nearest motel. Nah, I don't think so, said Lightning. Let's just keep going. A short while later, it started to pour down rain. Just don't say it, Lightning said, knowing Mater was right. The friends soon came upon an eerie-looking hotel with a spooky car waiting outside. Perfect, Lightning said, happy they could get out of the rain. But Mater wasn't happy. He was scared. The spooky car who worked at the hotel greeted Lightning and Mater and offered them a room for the night. Mater shuddered. This place gave him the creeps. By the time they got to their room, he was ready to leave. There were cobwebs, a flickering chandelier, and sinister-looking shadows. This place is fine, said Lightning. Mater disagreed. I'm keeping the light on, he said. Well, suit yourself. I'm sleeping like a rock tonight, Lightning replied. Except Lightning didn't sleep like a rock. He remained wide awake as Mater drifted off into a deep slumber. Lightning's eyes darted around the room as he heard spooky sounds. Something scratched at the window. Was it a tree branch or something else? Then he heard strange laughter from far away. Gah, explained Lightning. Mater, the tow truck wouldn't budge. Lightning reluctantly left the room to investigate. Lightning rolled past the reception desk. There was no sign of the creepy car who had greeted them. Then he heard someone giggling. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Lightning called out. Driving down another hallway, he noticed strange statues and peculiar paintings on the wall. Their eyes seemed to follow him. At last, Lightning turned a corner and saw two small, identical compact cars floating in midair. McQueen, they said in years, and come race with us. Ah! Lightning screamed as he raced away from the twin cars. Their laughter echoed behind him as he escaped down a dark corridor. When he rounded the corner, he saw an elevator at the end of the hall. The door slowly opened, unleashing a sea of green antifreeze. Lightning screamed again as he backed up, revved his engine, and took off. After escaping the antifreeze, Lightning found himself at the door of a banquet hall. He pushed through and encountered a strange and terrifying sight. Ghost cars dancing to pipe organ music. Shall we dance? Asked one of the ghost cars. Whoa! Lightning shouted as he zoomed out of the room. He raced down another hallway until he felt a presence behind him. A wraith hot rod with flames shooting out of its tailpipes was bearing down upon him. Lightning tried to get away, but his tires couldn't gain any traction on the carpet rolling beneath him. There was a door just up ahead. If he could only reach it... Finally, Lightning shot through the door and found himself back in his room. Mater was still fast asleep. Exhausted, Lightning was about to close his eyes when an alarm went off. Woo, buddy, Mater said. I slept better than a snowplow on the 4th of July. Lightning just stared at his friend as Mater added, You sure were right about this place. You can pick the stops every time from here on out. No, 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 never again, exclaimed Lightning. The two friends passed the reception desk as they left the hotel. You sure you're doing okay, buddy? Mater asked. Oh yeah, Lightning said. I guess old buildings like this can really play tricks with your mind. The day clerk at the reception desk turned to look at a painting on the wall. The car in the painting was the same car who had greeted Lightning and Mater the night before. Have you been messing with the guests again, Randy? The day clerk asked. The creepy car emerged from the painting and cackled. <laughs>